One of the main storylines resulting in up to the first round of the 2024 MotoGP season in Qatar was Pedro Acosta's debut. He performed outstandingly, finishing in the top 10 in both races and making an attempt for the podium on Sunday that gave hope for a bright future. However, his debut performance meant far more than his results. The young, talented rider who finished ninth in Qatar on Sunday was praised by Danny Pedrosa, who did not rule out the rookie's impact on the first round of the MotoGP World Championship or his future with KTM. The attention was on Marc Marquez and his arrival at Grissini Ducati during the preseason, but Pedro Acosta, the current Moto2 World Champion, even managed to tip the media balance in his favor with his MotoGP debut. Pedrosa stated, Acosta is on the same level as Marquez when he made his debut in 2013. The bikes require a lot of physical strength to ride, and that is what Acosta still has to work on this year. Although Acosta has been compared to Marquez since the latter went into the World Championship just three years ago, the similarities became even more apparent after the Spaniard's MotoGP debut, where he showed a charisma similar to Marquez's during that historic 2013 season. They resemble each other a lot, Pedro has shown us that he arrived with no complexes and a drive to take on the world, just like Mark did, Pedrosa said. Perhaps the greatest example of proof that shamelessness than the fastest lap of the race, which came from the 19-year-old Gas Gas rookie. Due to the overwhelming amount of interest in what was to be Acosta's first long race, he was unable to finish strong. Speaking with journalists later, the rider explained that his experience was the reason his tyres degraded more than they should have, which prevented him from maintaining the pace he had set in the opening stage of the race. However, just as, if not more, important was the sudden stiffness in his forearms that developed during the final six laps and caused him to run between 1 and 1.5 seconds slower each lap. Eventually, he was overtaken by a field far more experienced than himself, and despite his best efforts to relax his arms with weird movements, he ended up 8th, 11.5 seconds behind Bagnaya. It's likely that some of my unusual movement was caused by the rear device's lever being positioned too far away. Compared to the pre-season test, the team changed it. I hope that Portimao will better respond to my needs in the upcoming two weeks, stated the two-time world champion, who was having a great time unlike anything he had in a long time. Since I was in Moto3, I haven't felt as at ease and confident when passing. At Qatar, where the world had seen Marquez make his Premier Class debut, taking the podium behind Jorge Lorenzo and Valentino Rossi 11 years ago, he continued, The conditions back then had little impact on the current circumstances, particularly when we consider that the Japanese manufacturers that are currently fighting at the bottom of the field were dominant back then. Andrea Dovizioso's Ducati which finished 7th in that 2013 race and was over 24 seconds behind the winner, was the first non-Japanese bike. Pedro had a cheeky, champion-like attitude throughout his debut MotoGP Grand Prix. Marquez complimented him, saying, he will be challenging for the podium soon and he will give us a scare in some races. Apart from what we witnessed on the racetrack, the six-time MotoGP champion and the rookie who will eventually take over his dominating position have even more in common. In the same manner that KTM has put its future hopes in Acosta, who did not by accident receive the group of engineers that was left by Paul Espargaro, nearly all of them are directly of the Austrian manufacturer. In any case, the Spanish youngster's time with Hervé Poncheral's team has an expiration date and is aware that if KTM hopes to keep him beyond this season, it will need to place him in 2025 on Jack Miller's RC16, who is not under contract for next season. To get a Costa in 2024, the group led by Stefan Pira did exactly this. As a result, there was a strange game of musical chairs in which Espargaro, Fernandez and Acosta were fighting for with only two bikes. In this type of agreement, the company's promotion notice must materialize before the summer break, which is when most of the grid is expected to be finalized. The ideal lineup for Red Bull KTM team manager Francesco Guidotti's team in 2025 would include Pedro Acosta and six time MotoGP champion Marc Marquez. With the 2025 MotoGP rider market about to reach their peak, 
further major changes could happen. Marc Marquez recently joined Ducati and following an excellent debut in Qatar, it seems highly likely that he will stick with the team. However, Brad Binder is already contracted with KTM through the end of 2026, so Acosta won't be leaving anytime soon. Nevertheless, Guidotti continued to daydream while discussing the possibility of having Marquez ride one of their bikes the next year with Sky Sports Italia. Guidotti said, We already have Pedro, so we start with an advantage on the decisions to be made. As for Mark, I don't hide the fact I would like him. Having them both would be extremely valuable. However, he performed brilliantly for Ducati, and I think it's odd that he wants to switch to three different bikes in just three years due to his age. I think he will play his cards with the bike he has and for the future. Acosta's incredible performance and Marquez's successful Ducati debut were the main talking points from Qatar. Acosta proved that KTM has a bright future by finishing in the top five in just his debut race until tyre wear started to appear late in the race. In reference to Acosta's debut, Guidotti said, It reminded me of Martin's debut in 2021 when he made an incredible start and was there with the leading group and then slowly lost because the management of a MotoGP race is different and more complicated. There's something more within these guys. Importantly, Pedro felt comfortable with the bike right away. He's picking things up fast and made the best of the situations. A rookie learns more by doing half a race with the top five than 22 laps in 15th. At Qatar, the amazing youngster stole the show by almost beating Marquez. Later on, the 19-year-old compared his exciting experience to something else. According to Acosta, it lasted just long enough. It's similar to losing your virginity. Everything seems to be going well at first, and then bad things happen. The way things ended was perfect. I'm happy since my favorite part of the first race was overtaking so many people. It wasn't just about overtaking Mark. What I enjoyed the most was being there, having the pace, and overtaking people. According to Jorge Lorenzo, Mark Marquez was an explosion of aggressiveness, but Pedro Acosta shows different traits. Pedro Acosta and Mark Marquez differ significantly, as Jorge Lorenzo points out. However, Acosta is a rider who is more conscious of risks and doesn't like crashing. He has the same talent currently, but he works in a more controlled way. His numbers are even better than Mark's, and he is similar but different. I think that one or two riders, similar to Pedro Acosta, are born every 10 years. He truly has everything. If Pedro Acosta shines in MotoGP as many experts believe he will, he will attract admiring glances from elsewhere pretty quickly. What are your thoughts? Is Pedro Acosta ready on winning the title this season? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for new upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.